Support for WXAV 88.3 FM and WXAV.com is being provided by Bookies, new and used books. Bookies is located at 10324 Southwestern Avenue. They also operate a used book outlet at 2419 West 103rd Street. For additional information, visit bookiesbookstores.com. Support for WXAV is being provided by Cardinalis Cardinalis. Located at 9915 South Walden Parkway in Chicago, Cardinalis Cardinalis is a men's store that has apparel, gifts, accessories, watches, candles, fragrances, and grooming supplies. For more information, please visit CardinalisCardinalis.com. You can also call them at 773-991-4111. This podcast is being brought to you by WXAV 88.3 FM and WXAV.com. WXAV, bringing the best podcasts to you. Welcome, everybody, to the Unbiased Sports Podcast with Sean and Gavin. I'm Sean. And I'm Gavin. And we're here to bring you guys only unbiased news from week nine of the NFL season. We're going to start off by ranking what we think are the top 10 teams in the NFL. We also we also have a new segment. Yes, this we week. do. What is it, Gavin? The new segment this week. We are going to be ranking our top ten quarterbacks yes, in the are. league as of now. Yes, we are. We might have. I think we're going to have very different lists. To be honest, I think I think the top five will be similar but different. I think it'll be the top the top five six will to have ten the same names, maybe in different orders. Mm-hmm. But six through ten, I really like struggled to figure out who I wanted. Dude, I I did too. I'm. Same, actually, with number 10 on my power rankings. I couldn't figure out who to put in at number 10. That was the only uh, one I, I really struggled with. Power. Let, let's, start. let's start. Yeah, go who ahead. Have, uh, me for number 10? Yeah, go ahead. So I have the same team I had last week for number 10. I have, I have the Rams. Okay. Just because they, they got another win. Yep. So they're better. Uh, I mean, I know their defense sucks. We got that 100-yard pick six, obviously. But that was cool. That doesn't really that doesn't really help their defense. Like No, yeah. It, it's okay. just like and one they of those beat, They beat a, a, a divisional. They beat a good team. Seahawks yeah. are a good team. Yep. It was a good win. Matthew Stafford, he looks really good. He's probably one of the best. Well, he's in my top 10. Spoiler alert, he's in my top 10. I really tried to get him in there. His know, stats I, are just bad. I love Stafford, That was man. the problem. I love Stafford. But no, I, I'm thinking about, like, dude, with Cooper Cup back and Puka Nakua. No, Puka like, Nakua from is now a silly on, thing. Oh, yeah, oh, don't worry. I'll, I might get to that one, too, <laughs> That <later>. was funny. <laughs> that, dude. Do you, do you think that was deserved? I didn't watch it. Li- <sighs> did, it you, did you see the replay yes, or anything? Yeah, I, so I saw the play and everything. Mm-hmm. Probably, I, I it, probably it looked like a punch. Like it yeah, looked it, like one of those. Yeah, but it was kind of soft. It should have like, been a fifteen yard penalty. He shouldn't have been ejected. Yeah, like he should have got. Like I've seen way worse punches thrown and people not get ejected. I I've watched the Bears throw punches. Oh my god, and not get ejected. So like I think this was, it was a bad ejection, but it was a deserved penalty and it was stupid oh, yeah, of him yeah, to yeah. do. He definitely shouldn't have punched him. I mean, I don't know, stand on business or whatever. Maybe maybe he said something to you, but. I mean, also, like, dude, I think I think punching helmets in it's football so is the stupidest thing ever. Like, you don't look tough. Like, you're just going to break your hand or break a finger. Yeah, it, not That's even that you, you don't really look tough. Do. You just look dumb. Yeah. Like, you're you're not going to hurt them at all. You're going to hurt your own hand if you make contact. Like, what's the point of mm-hmm. trying to fight mm-hmm. somebody? Like, A.J. Green cooked up when he ripped, didn't he rip Jalen Ramsey's yeah. helmet yeah, yeah, off? Yeah. He was so cooking can, up. Yeah, you can swing, He was yeah. cooking up. And like, was, yeah. AJ Green, Bengals, Bengals legend. Oh yeah, but um, no, I think yeah, I think. Did you see that one? Um, did you see that, the Brian Brian Cushing when he takes his helmet off? Yes, and, yes. Oh, like that's just like CTE for like the rest <laughs> of your life, and then probably like onto your unborn children. Like yeah, that's ridiculous. No. I think that fighting in the NFL just like so usually stupid. is a dumb idea, just so because stupid. of all the pads, all the like you're not gonna get oh, would, a fair I would, fight I would, ever. I would definitely- I would definitely fight if I was in the NFL. Well, okay. I think. Yeah, I'd be. I'd oh, wouldn't be... you? Like, with all that adrenaline going, like. Yeah. Anyways, my number ten, the Falcons. Um. Oh, I was that. I was on the. I was on the. Yeah, edge of them too. it was really tough. This was the only team I wasn't confident putting in my top ten. Yep. Honestly, I'm fine with the Rams being put there. I'm fine with even like the 49ers being put there with CMC coming back. Like, there's a bunch of teams I'm fine with being put at this ten. Every other name on this or every other team on this list, I believe, deserves to be here. Yep. But ten, in my opinion, could be a lot of different mm-hmm, teams. Mm-hmm. I, I, I agree with that 100%, yeah. I, I think, I, I don't honestly, like them barely beating the Cowboys. That's the thing is... Because, I, I, I mean, the Cowboys, they're not good, man. No, yeah, stats-wise, like, I'm looking at their stats, like, they're 12th in points per game, 8th in yards per game on offense, and their defensive stats don't look much better, but on the eye test, the Falcons mm-hmm. look like a good team. They, I mean, Kirk Cousins is a great QB. Yes, um, I completely agree. 
Bijan, <laughs> I love Bijan. I oh man, I just I got him my him uh, my Madden my Madden uh, fantasy draft yesterday. Yeah, he's so he's tough. so good. I love that. And then, yeah, I, I I really like the, I really like the Falcons. I it, it probably could be switched between them and the Rams, but I do yeah. think I don't know. I I just like the Rams offense a bit more. I like the Rams I offense know, I more for Cooper sure, Cup, but I like Cooper the Cooper. Falcons defense more. It's it's exactly. really it's like exactly. it's whichever one you it's whichever one you think is a higher difference between the two really, yeah. and I'm fine with either of them being put there. I think it's I pretty close you. between the two quarterback play, but like receivers, it's not it's yeah. not really close at all. Yep. Like Cooper Cup. Mm-hmm. Probably top five, Puganakua. Like probably top five. Too. Yeah, like, like when it's, they're it's healthy, nuts. it's nuts. Well, that, and, their, and Kyron Williams, their like, scheme, their scheme is a oh, Sean is elite. Is, yeah. yeah, is one of the best offensive minds. Yeah, All right, let's move on to our number nine. So last week, uh, forgot to put the Steelers. Um, this week I remember for the Steelers, they're at number nine. They didn't play, but just because I disrespected them last week, which I think they should get dis- disrespected. I don't like them, but. <laughs> Uh, they've been playing well. Russell Wilson looks good. Yep. I think it would be kind of dumb of me not to put him in my top 10. And they also have one of the best records at AFC North, so they're at my nine. That's, yeah. I also have the Steelers at number nine. I yeah. think you can't deny the fact that they look really good, but mm-hmm. that defense, I man. will, I will, I will agree with you on some of this. The Steelers don't have, like, good wins. That's the thing. They, they, never, they never do. Yeah. They never, Steelers never have good wins. Yeah. The thing is, is like, they don't, they haven't beat these elite teams. Mm-hmm. We haven't seen them play like all these elite teams and win. Like we're seeing them beat like scrub teams. And like, yeah, have, they, like have they played the Ravens yet? I don't believe they so have. So I don't think they've played the Ravens or the Bengals. They haven't. They haven't played the, the Ravens so or the be, Bengals yet. I mean, four games. That, that'll, that'll really like, if prove I see, themselves. If, but I think yeah, they can easily win all those say. games. That's because it's AFC uh-huh. North and anything can happen in that. And the defense. The Division. defense could really like stop any team. Dude, they, yeah. Their defense is the best in the league. Like statistically, like I test. There's nothing in my opinion that you can like argue that this Steelers team is not the best defense in the mm-hmm. league. If the Lions still had Aiden Hutchinson, maybe the Lions. The oh, Chiefs, so good. all right. The Ravens' defense has has turned it up for sure. What's the defensive player of the year race looking like? I don't actually know who's at the top. I know Dexter Lawrence is leading the league in sacks right dude, now. He's, he's such like, a that's monster, crazy. Bro. That's so he's unbelievably giant, impressive for a D-tackle to be leading the league in <clears> sacks. <throat> yeah, but he's a beast. Like, I don't actually know who it's going go to I love watching like T.J. Watt like, clips and like tape. Yeah. like I don't, I don't, I'm... Obviously, I've never played football, so mm-hmm. I don't know much about it. But I think it's really cool, just like seeing like, uh, what's that? What's the position? The edge? Yeah, like the edge, like coming in like really well, like uh-huh. off the snap. Oh, I think it's so watching cool. them cook up a tackle one on one is oh such a God. fun thing to watch. I love watching like Hutchinson, Crosby, uh-huh. watching Watt. like the spin moves, the swim moves, like, cr- like batting the arms down. Oh, like, yeah. there's so many different things. Like Loki, you type move. You want to know what I like? on defense i like stunts where like the d tackle will come around another d tackle and mm-hmm. like the offensive line has to like switch and they won't so it's just a free sack for a d tackle i love watching I stuff i just i just like lo- watching the edges i That's also think fair. like good like offensive linemen is like pretty cool too like True. Seeing, seeing a pancake is sick oh seeing a pancake is sick but number so we both have Steelers at number nine my number eight is the packers I have the Packers at my number eight Ooh. it was tough for me i really wanted they're so high on my list i really wanted to move them down I was going to put them above the team in front of them, but I didn't. Mm-hmm. But I think the Packers are a really good team. I don't trust Jordan Love anymore. Jordan Love is not on my top 10 quarterback list at all. Oh, he's still in there for me. He's not on the list at all for me. I I am not liking what I'm seeing from him. Yeah. I, no, like, he's, he's at not the beginning of the year, he looked great, elite. And now he's looking bad. It could be the injuries, but as of right now, I'm not liking what I'm seeing. So I'm going to keep the Packers at eight. You know, that defense is still good. Jair, Mm -hmm. they just traded Preston Smith away, but like, oh, well, you know. Oh, with the Steelers as well, I did want to talk about the pickups a little bit. Mike Williams, that's going to be nice for them because all they want to do is toss the ball up. Mm -hmm. They got George picks on one side, Mike Williams on the other. Yep, you could just like, if one of them's one-on-one, you just toss it up to whichever one's one-on-one. You can't double both of them, or Pat Fryermuth is going to become the best tight end in the league if they do Mm -hmm. that. So I just wanted to talk about that addition as well. That was a nice addition. But the Packers, I still have at eight. Yeah. They're they're a good. Team. I have them a bit too high, actually. Yeah, looking at it now. But actually, no, I have them over like one team that I do agree with. But so my number eight is the Eagles. Um, okay. They've okay. they've looked really good yep. since since AJ Brown's like been back and healthy. Hurts has actually like looked pretty pretty great he, recently. He sure has. Which I is shock. Agree. Which is shocking. Cause I'm I'm not. I was not very high on Hurts. I don't know if that was more like a Nick Sirianni thing. But um, I've never really liked Hurts that much. But also like Parkley, like, dude, the back, the backwards oh. hurdle, 
I, I mean, I, I, I've done that before without the cameras, <laughs> but like without the cameras on, I mean, Sean Carey has done that multiple times. For sure, I have for sure. seen it, but but yeah, no, I don't want to pull that, that off in an much, actual but... game, bro. Dude. Holy moly! But I mean, like, just like I mean, besides that play, like Barkley is like probably like the best. Well, obviously with Derrick Henry, besides every single week, yeah. Besides Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry, Saquon Barkley, he's mm-hmm. the second best like yeah. running back in the league right now. Devonta I don't Smith think too. I mean, a question. Devonta Smith. Did you watch is uh, like towards like the end of that game? I watched. Yeah, I watched that whole game. The whole game was yeah. on. Devonta Smith was like finished them all. That like catch, that one drive. Uh huh. That one like, catch that was as well was crazy. Saquon's almost at a yeah. thousand rushing yards already. Like we're oh my gosh he's so yeah. good at football he's had one stinker game against the browns and besides that like i want to put the Eagles team a bit higher but i need to see them do some I, more yeah. i think i think soon i mean like if they if they beat a good team next week they'll probably go a little bit i higher. do have the eagles a little bit higher than this they're not my next team the next team i do have is the vikings dang dude i'm i'm really starting to not like the vikings here actually to be fair that Colts game, even though the score was close, that game was not close. Yeah. The the Colts did not score an offensive touchdown. They didn't make it to the red zone the whole game. <laughs> like, the Vikings defense really shut down Joe Flacco. I will talk about that later. The Vikings, I'm scared about Sam Darnold. Yeah, I'm, I don't blame you. I'm starting to get really worried that Sam Darnold is not going back to what he was. I don't think Sam Darnold will ever be as bad as he was on the Jets with the Vikings. I don't think the, it's possible. Yeah, the, the play calling's too good. The players Justin are Jefferson too, too good. good. Yeah. But I do think we're starting to see the Sam Darnold we kind of knew. He makes some bad reads and turns the ball over in costly situations. I mean, that red zone pick, he threw it right at the defender. Mm -hmm. And if that defender didn't pick it off, guess what? The defender right behind him would have too. Two different players would have picked that ball off. Like, it was not open. It never was. And it's starting to really scare me as a Vikings fan. I stopped watching that Colts game like for a little bit because I thought we were going to lose it. But I did. I did tune back in. Yeah, I watched us win. But I wasn't. I, I didn't watch much of it. But I mean, the, no, no, I did. Yeah, I did. But like, the, the, it was a bad game. I it, mean, like the Colts. Sucked, the Colts didn't the score, didn't and the Vikings good. didn't like, score that it just, much. Either. It was just gross. Mm-hmm. But I still have the Vikings in my top four. Yeah, like, despite despite that bad game by them. I I, I don't, don't know. know. I mean, they're they're winning. Like yeah. that's the thing. They are winning games. Their losses are. To Lions. the Lions and the that's Rams, what? Rams, the Rams, the Rams. Thank Rams. you. And I think I think the Rams is more of a trap game. The Lions, yeah, the, the Lions are the NFL. best team in the NFL, so, even though they're not one on my list. Oh, they're one of mine. I know they are. <laughs> hey, uh, who's right, your five, seven? seven? I got the Commanders. Um, <sighs> I have them higher. You got them higher than this? I don't know. Uh, I mean, not like significantly. It's the same difference with the Eagles. Um, but. so the teams I have like above them, I just like trust a bit more, and that's uh, completely fair. But well, also, mm, uh, well, I'll tell you about them soon. But like the Commanders, so Josh, uh, Jane, my bad, Jane Daniels. I'm seeing what the team I have next, which is yeah. the Bills. But uh, Jane Daniels, he went 15 for 22, 290 yards, two touchdowns. It was good. But um, like overall, like from like the the receivers, running backs, it wasn't like an incredible performance offensively. Mm-hmm. And I I don't like um I I really I'm really not a fan of them coming close to the Giants if they're gonna be this great of a team because I think the Giants man like. I mean, Daniel Jones, like, what are you doing on the field? Like, No, yeah, I do completely agree. It's this, so bad. This Giants game is too close, but at the same time, I think we have to use the same logic we use for every other, like, team. It's a it's a division game. Like, division games, anybody can win. I guess. I, even though it is the trash Giants, like, any team could beat any team, and they didn't even beat them. Like, like the Commanders still did win this game. Yeah, yeah. Granted, oh, yeah, it was yeah, a five-point yeah. game, not good, but I mean... They had what Chris Rodriguez running the ball. Hmm. I mean, like they Noah Brown was their leading receiver that game. Like I don't know what they were doing. The play mm-hmm. calling m- just must not have been there. I don't know. I didn't watch this game to be honest. But I, I, did, I I looked at the stats. I didn't watch the film on it. But I do have the Commanders higher. It's another win for them. At so your seven is the Commanders. Com- six the Commanders. Is the Bills. So you have okay. So yeah, your our difference in this list is really I just have the Vikings outside that top six. You brought the Vi- your, yeah. your Vikings are yeah, still yeah. in there. Because at six, the Eagles. That's where I have Eagles? the Eagles. Okay. Yeah, I think I think that's perfectly valid. Honestly, yeah, like the Eagles. They're so they're the thing is, good. is if I think I think if the Eagles and Vikings were to match up, honestly, I think the Eagles would probably take it. Mm-hmm. If I had to, if I had to guess, Did but we're not going to see that. No, no. Oh man, they don't. I don't know. But I, I don't like making huge jumps in my like weekly power rankings. The biggest jump I have. Actually, I didn't have a big jump from anybody. The The Vikings were seven last week. The Packers were eight last week. Oh, the Eagles. The Eagles went from like nine to six. That yeah. was my biggest jump. But I, was, I wanted to jump them, but... It's the second best rushing attack uh, in the league. They mm-hmm. they have the second most like 
per game rushing yards. Saquon Barkley's looked elite. Jalen Hurts, the tush push is back. He has eight rushing touchdowns already mm-hmm. this season. We're into week 10 right now. I mean, that's... Yeah, he's, he's so good. Like, the tush push is still <clears throat> working. The defense is looking better and better each week. It's a really... It's a young secondary. Yeah. Like, the or the corners, at least. Uh, the, the safeties aren't. I hate C.J. Gardner-Johnson. <laughs> I hope he gets cut, but... <laughs> Uh, the rest of the secondary is young. They're going to keep getting better. The D tackle situation, Jordan Davis and uh, what's that big guy's name? Jalen Carter. Yeah. Um, they're they're elite, they're like phenomenal. obviously, yeah. like and the receivers, man, like AJ Brown, Devontae Smith, yeah, is like probably, the like, offense, yeah, it's up there with Jamar Chase and T Higgins. Like it's uh, that's very just close. yeah, like those two are like it's like low key like one A one B at this point. Like what? AJ Brown, Devontae Smith, like as who's better wide receiver duos. No, like just wide receiver oh, duos. No, no, Jamar Chase and T Higgins much better. T Higgins just hasn't played like at all. Yeah, but I'm still taking that. No, I, I think Jamar Chase is the best receiver in the league right now. Well, I know. Stat wise, he is, but he's not anymore. Performance wise, he's not. He's he, not. No, Justin Jefferson has more yards now. Dang. So, so Joe Burrow threw five touchdowns. I couldn't toss the ball to Jamar Chase. Uh, that I think much. Jamar Chase has more touchdowns than Justin. Oh yeah, Jefferson. obviously. Yeah, Justin Jefferson does, isn't really like a huge touchdown score. He just catches the ball a ton. Yeah, he's just so good. <laughs> yeah, that one, like, um, that one catch he made with one hand last year. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a you type play. I mean, you yeah, you in the sure. Thanksgiving Bowl type play? I huh, Uncle Uncle Jerry better watch out. I'm bossing <laughs> him this year. <laughs> uh, my number. So you're yeah, number boss, six, you're gonna boss your stepdad, dude. <laughs> 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 number Show five, me. I have the Commanders. Wait, I never talked about my number six. You never talked about your number no, six? No, I, I got the Bills. I got the Bills. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot yeah. you never talked about it. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So I, 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 I probably so I have five. I have the Packers have five. Um, I would kind I kind of want to switch them, but I didn't. I didn't like the receivers this week for the Bills. And I'm I'm kind of scared that that could become like a norm. But yeah, I, I don't think it will. I, I don't know. I'm not. Hmm. Keon Kil- Coleman looked good for a few weeks, but He's I, be I hurt. really need to see consistency. Huh? He, uh, I've heard that that wrist injury he had last he game was was like worse than expected. Um, yeah. But and until Amari Cooper like like gels with them, I can't put them in my top five. I think Amari Cooper. I don't think it's going to be when he gels. It's just like I can't believe he was hurt like this week. Like there was no reports about it. All of a sudden, like Sunday morning, 11 a.m., Amari Cooper's hurt. Like. Yeah. I think Amari Cooper is going to make this offense good. I think I, I, I have so, man. I have a lot of well, the offense is already good. Um, I have a lot of trust in this Allen. Bills. Yeah, I have a lot of trust in this Bills team. I th- those those losses like really come scared playoffs, me. you have trust. Yeah, the reason I wouldn't have trust in the Bills would be because Josh Allen it, turns the ball over too much. Yeah. But they have the but third best turnover that. margin in the league mm-hmm. this year. Did he throw it? He has two picks this did year. Did he throw one this? I think he threw one this week, right? Ah, uh, yeah, I think he did. I'm pretty sure he did. Um, but yeah, I mean, James Cook, he, he didn't have a great game, but obviously yep. he's one of, he's still, I think he's still one of the best running he's backs. He's a good running league. back for sure. So yeah. I, I, I put him at number six, but I don't want to put him over any of the teams I have higher. The thing is, is it's just like the bills are just coming out most weeks and just stomping on mm-hmm. people. Like, well, they didn't do that this week. I know they also didn't the this Dolphins week. are back. And I think the Dolphins, this Dolphins team healthy is really good. Yes. You got I the best player agree. in football in Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill's Tua. really good. Uh, I think people disrespect Tua too much. Obviously, he is a really good quarterback because you saw what happened without him with Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle, like speed merchants, and with uh, HN, like, you know. No, yeah, I completely, I completely, like, Tua is, uh, and the, he's the a, Dolphins defense he's an above too. average quarterback for sure. And this Dolphins team, I don't know if they're going to make noise this year. Just, uh, they, they could they beat can, any man. team. It's just too late. Yeah, like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just too late. What's their division looking like right now? The Bills. The Bills are seven and two now. Yeah, I, I mean, they're, they they're can't catch up and, to that. They're two and six. With yeah, the, they, that's what I'm saying. They can't right catch behind up the Jets, to that. and the Jets look kind of decent last week. So. Oh yeah, that's the Jets finally figured out the passing attack a little yeah. bit. They beat that's Houston. I mean, oh a yeah, scary Houston man. I'm scared for yeah. Houston. They they should get Nico Collins back this oh, week, if not next out of my, week. But they're out of my top. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah they would have been they they were another team I was considering at the ten spot, but nah. they were they were like another one of those teams that Losing like could the have Jets, been put man. In. Like, come on! I mean, this just no, that's is definitely good. true. Well, I mean, they're they sh- they're good on paper, but obviously they haven't put it together. That's exactly how I would. This say. This could also be like the first week they did put it together, mm-hmm. but I don't know that retirement o- that retirement home over there. I just I just I don't have much faith for them in the. I don't either. Like, come later in the season. No, so, I, mean, I don't think they're going to end up making the playoffs. I think they're going to miss it. It's. Yeah, I have I mean, high hopes do, for them Aaron at the Rogers beginning of the year. Hasn't done much in the playoffs since like <laughs> 2012. Yeah, like and yeah. now he's in the AFC. Maybe okay, all right, like new <laughs> new start. Maybe he's like LeBron, you know, when he went to the <laughs> when he went to the West, won a quick ring. But I don't know. No, we'll yeah. See. All right, so number five, I have the Packers. Uh, I'm very iffy on this, but I think you already covered them. 
Jordan Love is not super trustworthy. Yeah. But I still think overall the team is better than most teams in the NFL. I like the uh -huh. defense. I like the receivers. I mean, they can all kind of get it done. Like, it just depends on, like, the week, honestly. Uh -huh. Josh Jacobs, extremely consistent running back. He's always going to get you, like, almost 100 yards. Yeah, no, I would. I would. Yeah. Super consistent. Super. Maybe. Well, not even just consistent, too. They also are, like, they're relying on this run game, like, yeah. pretty heavily, too. So, well, you gotta, granted, you know, when you have. love throwing a million true. picks a game. Like, yeah. You gotta. Granted, like, also, Josh Jacobs is a really good running back. Oh, like, yeah. I would also be yeah. giving him the ball yeah. a ton of times. Incredible. But. <clears throat> yeah, the one thing I didn't say about the Packers that I, I definitely agree with you on is Jordan Love doesn't have that guy. Like, we came mm -hmm. in thinking mm -hmm. Jaden Reed was going to be his guy this year, and Jaden Reed was going to have, like, 1,500 yards and, like, 10 touchdowns. I mean, he's he's doing well, but he's not, like, an uh, elite, elite, yes, elite receiver. Yes, but He'll sometimes Romeo Dobbs is, is the yeah. guy. Dontavian Wicks is the guy. We haven't seen a Christian Watson game, but we know we're going to see a Christian Watson 60-yard yeah. bomb Which at some I point like. this season. I like that. I really like yeah. that, because how do you game plan for – for an offense that you never know who they're throwing yeah. the ball to. But there's also like, it's kind of like, I don't know, come playoffs, like, you want that guy. Exactly. Like, if you In want regular Justin season, Jefferson, this you is want perfect. Jamar Chase. Yes. You want AJ Brown. Like, because Justin really... Jefferson, realistically, like Jamar Chase, realistically, could go out there. They could win you like multiple oh, games yeah. in the playoffs exactly. alone. And also, like, fourth quarter, like, like 30 third seconds and, left. Third and 10. Third and 10, like, at the red zone, like, who you, you're tossing to Jaden Reed or Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase? Like, exactly. Yeah. At that point, everyone you can't the ball going to them. Their like, best player on offense exactly. is Josh Jacobs. Like yeah. at this point, I'm pretty confident in saying that. Maybe Tucker Craft. Tucker Craft has looked really good this year. Like just, he's not a better player than Josh Jacobs, but comparatively to position wise, like Tucker Craft might be in that like almost yeah. top five conversation. But well, Josh I, Jacobs I think, is too. Is he, I think he's a top five running back. That's what I'm saying. I'm it's trying close. to see. I There's mean, a lot of good running backs in the NFL. Like, Jamar, Gib J Jamar Gibbs had a stinker. Kind oh, of. but I love. I think it's dude. The line oh, is actually, like it's just so tough. Wait, so we know. got we got Saquon, Derrick yep. Henry, yep. Gibbs, yep, Bijan, yep, and then Jacobs maybe. And the Cook crap. I don't know. It's oh, tough. Swift, dude. Swift's having a good year. Swift. I know you hate Swift. No, no, no. Swift is having a good year. Swift has been a top 10 running back this year. Kyron. Kyron. Like, yeah. Like, oh, there's a lot of good running backs in this uh -huh. league. No, there's yeah. a lot, dude. I, I love it. I Nothing love that the, of their money, well, except for a few, but. I love that the top running backs are workhorse backs. I mm -hmm. love a good workhorse back. Oh, like, yeah. They're, they're so I'm not tough. trying to sound like an old head, but, like, I think that it's better to have. No, actually, it is better to have a running back by committee unless you have one of those top, like. I'd rather yeah. have Derrick Henry, Saquon, Jameer. But, like, if I don't have, like, one of those guys, like, I might prefer having a two, like, above-average running backs. Yeah. Fresh legs is really important unless, like, you're... That, I mean, look at the Lions. They got two top ten that's, running backs. Exactly. That's the like, problem. It's crazy. That's why they're so good because they yeah. can rely on the running game. But then they have Amon Ra and, and they Jason the Williams. They have, they have, they have the uh, Jared Goff is high on my list, and I hate it. I hate Jared <laughs> Goff, but he is high on my list. He got to be. All right, let's, let's move on. So, number four? Bills. That's where I Vikings. have the Bills. Vikings. Yeah, like I said, the Vikings, it's just really Sam Darnold. They're still a top, like, the Vikings are still a top 10 scoring offense, mm -hmm. second best running defense in the league. But honestly, like, this Bills team, like, not even just arguing Bills versus Vikings, I, I the Bills, I think, have to be, like, this high. They're just crushing teams. Like, I, I, I know not this week, but this Dolphins team, it's a divisional game, and they're a good team. Like, yeah. But the Bills, like, Josh Allen's the least sacked quarterback. The third best turnover margin. Their defense is like top three least flagged defense in the NFL. And I think that's a really big mm -hmm. part of football is being a clean team. I'm You'll not like, win I'm games like on that. I'm a huge, huge fan of their defense. I'm not a big fan of the Bills defense at all. Like, I, I, think, I don't think it's a good defense. I think the Vikings would beat the Bills, though. I don't know. I'm, I'm a bigger fan a of game. the Vikings defense against the Bills offense than I am the Bills defense against the Vikings offense. Yeah, when, you say that, when you say that, I can also, I, I low-key can agree with that I for also sure. like. I, I just trust Justin Jefferson over anything they have there. Like and also like Sam Darnold, he's serviceable. Aaron Jones, very good. Aaron James Jones took, is, obviously very good. Too. Aaron Jones could be in that top five just, running back conversation with how he's been playing oh yeah. this year. It's just like uh, the defense. The defense puts the Vikings it's over the, the edge for me. I over can the I can definitely so that's why I can so definitely top see that for sure. So. The thing is, is like I mean, not just like Bills versus Vikings again, but like Josh Allen has I don't think ever had a bad game against Minnesota. Like. Granted, huh. the, that one game, that play, that game of the year last year where Justin Jefferson made that, or like three years ago, uh, when he made that one-handed catch, like that was a crazy game and all that. But mm. Josh Allen, I have more trust in Josh Allen than I do in Sam Darnold. Oh, I obviously. think everybody in the world does. Um, but I think fully healthy Bills offense is close, if not better than the Vikings offense. And then the defense, the defense is a big 
It's a big, it's a big gap. It's a big gap between the two. Yeah. I just, uh, if I like those two play, I think the Bills win it. It would be close. It'll but be also, I'm a Vikings fan. Like, I'm always pessimistic. I'm never what you optimistic. Dude, you just always want the Vikings to tank. Every single year, you want the Vikings no, to tank. No, 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 no. Last, and my freshman and sophomore year, I was rooting for the Vikings to win games. This year, I thought they were going to be bad, so I wanted them to tank. Yeah. But, but now they just ended up not being went, bad. So, casually went undefeated. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. They started off way too well. At first, I way had the Bills well. at three. Because now they're going to be, they might, I don't know, they might become mid? Like, the Vikings? Yeah. I think they're going to end up making the playoffs, but, like, I don't think we're winning a playoff game. You don't want to be, like, stuck in a situation where you don't have, like, a great, you know, great draft pick. Brother. But, like, you don't do anything in the playoffs. The Vikings have done that the last three oh, I know. years. Oh, I know. Like, I know. That's why I wanted them to tank. Guys always Granted, like we got Jordan Addison season. with one of those picks. Jordan Addison's obviously mm -hmm. a very good receiver. But it's just like, yeah, I don't know. The Vikings, it's tough to rank them because like i could see them you're right like all the way up at like four or five i could i'm not mad about them being put there but i'm also like they could be put at like eight like i'm cool with them being put at eight as well dang dude yeah like you're i think hater. they could be anywhere from four to eight like and Holy i'd be moly. cool with it no i just think there's an argument for any team to be put above the vikings just because of sam darnold at this point <laughs> like so you just don't like sam darnold straight up i like you're sam darnold but i'm taking obviously jalen hurts Jaden daniels josh allen uh lamar jack sorry i'm just listing off the people in my top like 10 list i'm yeah. taking any quarterback over them except for oh, my yeah. nine and ten that's probably the why you put yeah that's why you made your top 10 exactly yeah. that's, right, that's, that's yeah. top three ravens lions chiefs and order three two one chiefs ravens lions yeah i mean like i said it's still gonna stay the same order three two one yeah when the, when the chiefs lose a game at this point they'll probably drop Dude. to two not three like i'll still mm. put them above the ravens just because they're like what nine and oh eight and oh at this point yeah. like they're eight and oh um but like the but they have a, <sighs> dude they have such an easy schedule they do. i saw that it's they ridiculous. they really could go undefeated no i think they should like they generally should until they get to the playoffs and see an actual good team from the afc like, yeah well they the could lose one of those Bengals. divisional games like those, those are always tough games 100%. divisional games are always going to be I'm tough to see who might be in that for the, in the like AFC. i could see the chargers like upsetting them in a game the Chargers were almost in my top 10. The Chargers are 5 and 3. Yeah, the Chargers are a cooking. sneaky little season. Yeah, but I can definitely see the Chiefs losing to Phil. Or the Broncos, like Bo Nix has a crazy game. Ah, uh, the defense like I don't, like I don't the, the Broncos the, as much as the I do Chiefs the Chiefs offense hasn't been good and the and the Denver defense is elite. Like yeah. that could be one of those games where like No, they had a good they had a good show last week. They, here, I got you the stats. Yeah. Uh, Mahomes 34 from 44, 291 yards, three touchdowns, Kareem mm -hmm. Hunt 106 yards, a uh, famous Famous uh, woman respecter, 106 yep. yards, one touchdown. Uh, Travis Kelsey, 100 yards. Oh yeah, no. so it's like, like I they they this is probably their best outing, but not probably. I mean, it the just Bucks, is. the Bucks are Baker Mayfield's gritty. Like no, yeah, you can't. I the Bucks I am are very so good. upset. I was oh, I forgot I wanted to rant about this. Why if you're the Bucks with 30 seconds left? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you not, not go, go for, for two? two? I know it is the dumbest decision yeah. I've ever seen from a mm -hmm. uh, from a head coach. You especially against the Chiefs, you would rather take a 50 50 shot on a coin toss because if the Chiefs get it, you know they're scoring, they yeah. will score a touchdown. Yeah. If you get it, there's like a 70% chance you'll score a touchdown and win the game. So, why not take a two yard play on the two yard line? Take that chance of just winning the game. Mm -hmm. Make make Patrick Bones have to make one of those crazy drives in 20 something seconds. Why would you not go for two? I think that was one of the dumbest like decisions I've seen all year. Yeah, that is a that is a worse I've coaching a decision too. Yeah, yeah, that is a worse coaching decision than it's anything ridiculous. Nick Sirianni or Zach Taylor has done this whole year. Yeah, that was terrible. I can't put them high. Well, the reason is, I well they almost lost to the Bucks, so that's they why should've. I can't put them high. Well, unless they didn't get the two point conversion. Yeah, exactly. I, but, I'm so upset about that. Yeah, I am too. I mean, dude, believe me, man, I really want to see these guys <laughs> lose. Like, ah. Uh, no, if yeah. they go undefeated, I'm going to be like depressed every week, bro. Like every week, the Chiefs win again. Oh, the Chiefs win again. Chiefs win again. Uh, yeah, I'm going to start getting depressed by it, too. And also, like, we're going to see Taylor Swift all the time. What do you think about Taylor Swift for the football world? I, I actually, like, I haven't seen her show nearly as much, but she still does NFL get shown. Down. I think it's, like, a good and a bad thing. It's good for... It's good for the gonna, publicity. For, for, yeah, for viewership. Any like, you're going to get publicity. women to watch yeah. more, but it's really bad for the people that like the NFL to just mm -hmm. see them pan to taylor swift every time travis kelsey gets a catch exactly like, it's just it's it's not even like it's a big deal it's just like one of those like minor inconveniences that's just really annoying mm -hmm. like there's yeah. no need to show taylor swift 
you don't show any other person's girlfriend. Like, yeah. you only show, well, sometimes Patrick Mahomes' wife, but that's just because well, one there's a, there's controversy. there's a difference between two. Taylor Swift and his girlfriend. Taylor Swift was a superstar. He, exactly. She's more famous than Travis Kelsey. That's, yeah, that's, that's like, just a that's fact. That's like if LeBron James was up to any game, like any NFL yeah. game. Like, but see, here's the thing. The Even when him. LeBron James or like somebody like It'll that pulls like up once, to a game, yeah, yeah. once, maybe twice. Taylor Swift was actually getting shown like 10 uh, times. But it's also like the relationship. Last year. I guess it's also the relationship. And also, I think the NFL just, they really wanted this. Position. It works. It works. It works. But it's, it's I think, I a, think lot it of, already a lot worked. of people who watch the NFL, like guys like you and me, mm-hmm. I mean, we don't like, I'm not the biggest Taylor Swift guy. Like, I'm not. I, a few of her songs are bangers, but there's, it's not like a I'm lot an that avid, are bad. like Taylor Swift fan. Like, yeah. like her old music's pretty good. Like, yeah, I don't like, listen to her new music. Annoying. And like, I don't like, I don't bash on anybody that likes Taylor Swift, but it's like, not my music. Exactly. And, like I don't want to see her every which is why game I'm, in the NFL. Which is like also like why I'm a little bit more annoyed. Like I don't like her. And I feel like there's a lot of guys in the football world who just aren't Taylor Swift fans. You know? Yeah. You know? Exactly. Um, I'm gonna talk about the Ravens real quick. So the Ravens have the best rushing offense in the league. Obviously, it's, it's, it's like, so good. It's by like I think like 15 yards a game mm-hmm. over the Eagles because the Eagles are also just like almost in a world of their own as well. Like yeah. I, it's like a tier one and then tier two. Like both of those teams are like alone in those tiers. Yeah, and they also have the best rushing defense in the league. That's really good. Something I noticed when I was looking at these teams, I believe that seven or eight of these teams are a top 10 rushing defense in the NFL. So I think the key to success, honestly, is having a good rush defense, I guess. Like, if you have Probably. a good offense and a good like, rush running defense. Running back's been good this year, bro. Like, Yeah, that's what tough. I'm saying. It's been tough. And also, the Ravens also have the third best passing offense in terms of yards per game as well. I didn't think that would be the case because of how much they run the ball, but they still have the third most passing yards per game. No, Lamar's been slinging that thing, dude. And he had, dude, he'll have, like, he'll have like four, three, five touchdown games. No, like, yeah. He's been having Lamar those, Jackson, man. simply put, should be the MVP if he things is. stay the no, same. No, he is the MVP. Josh like, Allen has... Has no. better odds at this point. Are you kidding me? Yeah, and on sports books, Josh Allen That's is crazy. at plus two ninety, and Lamar Jackson is at plus three hundred. Lamar Jackson is the best. I completely, I completely NFL. agree. It's honestly he can do everything. How much do we really have to talk about the Lions here? I mean, highest scoring offense, yeah. in the league. Like their their offense is so unbelievably e- perfect. efficient. Like, it's, it's perfect. Well, oh, I I didn't like the last game as much actually, just because they scored twenty four points and then they kind of whatever. Yeah, they, that's didn't, true. they didn't score that second half. That's true. So it's, the Packers are really good at not letting teams score in the second half. They did it to the Vikings it's, too. It's, it's true, but like if you're the Lions, if you're if you're like this like number one best offense, best team, like you come on, man. Like no, yeah, I completely give us a point or two. I completely he, agree that we've seen a weakness now, and I'm yeah. very happy about that. But the thing is, they also had a 24 point cushion. Like, yep. I think also they probably like probably like okay, let's not like get injured, let's not go crazy, yep. stuff like that. Because I mean. Jared Goff still threw 18 for 22, 145 yards. Went. That's not. That's not bad. You know, it's only check downs. Yeah, you love to see it. Well, you don't love to see it. I love to see it. <laughs> I love the goofball. No, yeah, I don't know. Goff, Goff, like it's, it just annoys me because it's just not fun to watch their oh, passing yeah. offense. Yeah, their rushing offense is fun to watch, but mm-hmm. watching them like on an offensive drive isn't fun. Yeah, because because ja- Jared Goff most drives won't throw a ball more than five yards. Yeah, the same Browns just like. He's really good at like catching the ball. He's not like a, he's not gonna moss you. He's not gonna yeah. run past you. Yeah, no. He's, he's gonna catch the ball, make runner. a move. He's he's gritty, mm-hmm. but like he's not gonna do all that. Gives Mon- gives a Montgomery run through you. Gives a run around you. Like they're entertaining, mm-hmm. man. No, uh, That's James, what James Williams will, will run. Like, yeah, he'll run him past back. you. But he's uh, what did he, did he do? He did drugs, steroids. I uh, suspended for yeah for performance enhancing drugs. I don't know if it was steroids. I'm assuming it was. Well, no, I don't. <sighs> If it was actually steroids, I feel like a, a two two week ban isn't like I don't think that's what they do for steroids. Like I'm pretty sure if it's steroids, like they're like, hey, like, gone for a while. Yeah, like like that's like giving you a clear advantage. Maybe the reason he kept on saying this is my season is because he <laughs> he knew he had <laughs> he had like steroids running through his body, dude. What do you what do you think about like athletes and steroids? Do you think like there's like a lot taking them that we don't like know of? Like no. I've seen things like saying like LeBron James is taking steroids. No. I think I, it's. I, I've seen a convincing argument, but like my brother, like me and him, were like we were like yelling, like screaming, like didn't talk for like a day type. Like we were like going actually like, over this argument. I just, just, I think it would be so difficult for athletes to like get past the drug test they have. The thing to about take. it, it's it's LeBron. Like imagine, imagine a story comes out LeBron's on steroids. Like think about what it does for the NBA. It like, wouldn't surprise me. Like, if, dude, like. I, I, the more he keeps playing, like the more I think about it, bro. Like twenty, like I've played like 
three seasons of college volleyball. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it, bro. I had to quit He's after played. two because of my knee. Yeah, He's bro. played 20 years of NBA like basketball yeah like, like he's i mean also like let's think about sports medicine and he what he spends like a million uh-huh drops a mill on his body every year but like is that actually true like what if he's just yeah. taking steroids and saying well, that just taking a million dollars for steroids <laughs> but i feel like it's like easily like accessible like i feel like if you're if oh, you're they an just athlete, definitely are it has to be super easy to get steroids. well it's also it's anything's easily accessible when you're lebron james as well or yeah. like but any like, like, any, like professional athlete, athlete. Like, there yeah. has to be like a guy like somewhere, like at least two people away from that can just get you like roids. Also, also like people will come out of like the locker room and come back and play. Do you think like they like inject them with like painkillers and like stuff like that and send them oh, back out? Um, no, they definitely. Oh, dang, what's the shot? They I don't give know them a what shot. It's called. They, they. I think they definitely probably like give them a shot or something. I don't know. I mean, or just like a lot of like some type of pain. Because like when I when I went out, um, I guess when I like sprained my ankle. Yeah. Um, I went out. Took like four four ibuprofen and went back in, mm-hmm. and I felt pretty. Well. I just couldn't feel it for the rest of the game. So I probably it's tough. I don't know. Like like I said, I'm not a I'm not a pro athlete. So like I can't like I don't know it. Probably but. I probably dude. Like when Mahomes just came back out. Oh oh no, Mahomes like, is the biggest drama queen of all time. A drama queen? I think he fakes injuries. I think he really? fakes. I do. I have seen that man be injured at least five times in games, and not once has he ever actually sat out of the game. <laughs> he has always come back in, and people are like, oh, he's so tough. I yeah. just think, honestly, he over-exaggerates his injury so that there can be another ESPN post. Oh, Mahomes goes down with a tough injury. Oh, Mahomes is back. I That one looked bad, though. Like, it, no, it that one really did weird, look bad. Though. I thought it was Achilles. But like, then he I was back. Scared. But then he was back, like, within 20 seconds. He was yeah. on the sideline running around, like, there's no way he couldn't walk off the field and then 20 seconds later, not not going back to the locker room or anything, he's back. Like, yeah. you might have a point, dude. I think he. I don't know if he actually fakes injuries, but if anything <clears throat> ever hurts him, he is definitely selling it to the max. Mm-hmm. He is getting off the field and he is he is wincing in pain, the worst pain it looks like ever, yeah. and then he's back in the game. Like they gotta inject him with something. <laughs> what's that's that? What's what I'm that saying. stuff used in uh, the boys? I don't know. Uh, <sighs> Dang, what's that? Ah, what's that? They give them the superheroes. <laughs> Are they giving them the. I forgot the, what it's called, dude. Dang it. Why can't I remember? The special everything? juice in Space Jam? The special oh, water? Sure. <laughs> special walk? All right. All right, let's get to uh, the top 10 here. Top 10 QBs. All right, number 10. I got Baker Mayfield. Yeah, I left Baker <laughs> off my list. What? He's, he's, After what he did He's last definitely week? my number 11. Like, for sure, my Dang, number 11. Man. I, at my 10, have <clears throat> Sam Darnold. Even though I've been bashing him the whole episode. I thought you said you kept him out. No. I could have sworn you said you kept him out. Like, you didn't want to put him in your top 10. I didn't want to. Oh, okay. But he, that's why he's my 10. No, I got to put They're Baker They're winning too many him, games. Bro. I, uh, I, I, can, I see that, but I think Baker's is better. I don't know I don't know Baker's stats, to be fair, but Sam Donald's. I got you. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, 2,389 passing yards, 23 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Uh, that's, I think he might just be the <sighs> best. He might just be the best in the league right now, next to Geno Smith in passing yards. Yeah, you low key, you low key might and have a point with, there with touchdowns. I think he's the best too. No, I'm taking the winner. Low key, I'm ta- I'm 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 keeping Sam Darnold in my top ten. Yeah, like, but yeah, yeah. nineteen hundred passing yards, seventeen touchdowns, seven interceptions, one hundred twenty yards on the ground. Like it's it's a good season, and he's winning games. And we haven't seen Sam Darnold ever perform like this before. Mm-hmm. So. I think I'll give the edge. Yeah. I, think I think it's think, also like situational for sure. Uh huh. I think you switch the two quarterbacks, the Vikings just go to the Super Bowl. That's and I do agree with that. I, Baker Mayfield is definitely the better quarterback than yeah. Sam Darnold. I low key did. I think I did tweak a little bit. I think Baker Mayfield objectively is the better quarterback, but the Vikings are winning, so I'll yeah. stick. I'll stick on my hill. But yeah. I would like it to be known if Baker is like anybody's top ten. Like I'm not yeah. mad about. that I wanted at to put all. him higher, but just because. Uh, the Bucks aren't like incredible. Yeah, I, I can't put him in. And it's higher. tough because like, but I think it's so impressive what he did last week against mm-hmm. that Chiefs team with what mm-hmm. he had to work that's with. That's what I. That's what I was about like, to man, say. All man. of his receivers are injured. Like it's really impressive. Mm-hmm. I may have tweaked on that one. Yeah. Baker might be. I might. I might end up saying Baker's ten over Sam Darnold. But I did want to show the Vikings some love. Who do you have at nine? Justin Herbert. Oh yeah, oh, I'd be. For, I, I keep no, forgetting about. So, I forgot about the charge of the season, dude. Justin Herbert is not having a crazy statistical season. Yeah, he has seventeen hundred twenty-five passing yards, ten touchdowns, one interception, but he's five and three 
with no receivers. He's doing he 10 touchdowns, yeah. one interception, 1725. He has as much passing yards as Jalen Hurts. Yeah, he's a beast. And Jalen Hurts has AJ Brown and Devonta Smith. Justin he Herbert's has, been like super good. Dude. Yeah. And he has Lad McConnell. Well, a lot of people <laughs> don't like Justin Herbert because he, he's never been like a winner in the NFL. But like he's, dude, he's, he's also gotten so crazy unlucky. Yeah. Like in his like last exactly. like few years. That's what I'm Remember saying. That one game, oh, that game they had against the Raiders. What how many two two years ago? One year ago was it? Uh, I don't know what you're referencing. That crazy game they had against like the Raiders and like I think it went to like the OT or something and the Raiders somehow won. Oh, to I go do, to the playoffs. Uh, it, it, if it would have ended in a tie, it would have been like both teams making. Yeah. But yeah, I but remember Raiders, that game. Like, yeah, 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 like, yeah. You know. And they yeah. No, I Justin Herbert talent wise is definitely like solidified top ten like quarterback. He is a very dude, talented talent quarterback. <laughs> talent wise, he might be top like five. Yeah, dude. like it's it's like, really close. He's also like huge, bro. It, that's like, true. But it's just Josh Allen what he's build. doing with, like, no wide receivers. Like, a rookie lad, McConkey is his number one option. Quinton Johnston is, <laughs> is one of his top receivers. Yeah. That's How's he doing this year? Good. Really? Yeah. And it's surprising. Like, I don't know if it's Quinton Johnston. Like, like a, he was always, like, scared as rookie. Maybe. Or something. I, I don't know. The I don't know. The the Chargers have just been a, a pleasant surprise for me. I wanted to show them love as well. Yeah. A top Shout 10 out. quarterback list, like, 10 through 8 is going to be tough, like, yeah. I on got, a quarterback list. Number 9, I got Jalen Hurts. Oh, I so. have Jalen Hurts. Oh, no, I don't have him significantly higher. I thought I had him way higher. No, nah, I, I, I can't put him too high just because, like, he just – he kind of recently started to turn up. Yeah. Which I really like. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I mean, obviously, like, a few years back, he was, like, probably, like, what, like, number 2, number 3? So, I, I mm -hmm. think I – th I still think he's a top 10 talent, obviously. He's had some pretty – his has uh, his pretty mediocre stats. Talent-wise, I wouldn't put him top 10. No, I don't think Jalen Hurts is a top ten talent wise. You think he's just like he's like you think he's more of like a Brock Purdy, Jared Goff. Yes. He has a good team around him. Yes, but I, I know I think I think he's a little bit better than those two. Here's the thing, talent I think wise. I think Jalen Hurts is a better rusher than them, no doubt. Yeah. I don't think he's a better passer of the ball than Jared Goff. He was, dude. Last last game, he was throwing some dots. Oh, I, I completely agree. Those uh, are impressive. Bro. Devonta Smith's long touchdown was not a dot. That was just Devonta Smith making it. That was it was a good throw, but yeah. it was like Devonta Smith made a crazy catch. Like I think Jalen Hurts. Like is a is a decent quarterback. I mean, I have him higher than you do, but yeah. it's definitely his stats that I don't, I don't think his stats are high. mediocre. His passing stats are mediocre, but yeah. Oh, I only have their passing. Stats yeah, his right rushing. Now. Yeah, his rushing stats. He has three hundred twenty-two rushing yards and eight rushing touchdowns. So overall, well, that's like those eight rushing touchdowns. That, so overall, oh, that puts him up. Push into True. The end zone. That puts him at two thousand yards total, eighteen touchdowns, four picks. Yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty that's a pretty good season. Yeah, he's so definitely far. solid. Who do you but, have at your nine? And my name's Herbert. Uh, number eight oh. is Kirk Cousins, though. Kirk Cousins? I have Kirk at eight. Did you? Do you have Kirk on yours? No, that's okay. probably a mistake. No, I should have put oh, him in actually with his, stats, with his stats. Um, for yeah, sure, I, I should have put him in Kirk, over Jordan Love. Kirk stats: it's twenty three hundred twenty eight passing yards, seventeen touchdowns, seven interceptions. Obviously, yeah. no rushing yards. Yeah, um, I, I should be forgetting about the, about. No, yeah, Kirk I over mean, there. like this is a really tough like list because it's like you could really argue a lot of quarterbacks to be in this top 10 yeah like there's multiple quarterbacks that i left off this list that like jordan loves off my list baker mayfield's off my list i have like, jordan love next yeah like and honestly i'm not mad at it like yeah. jordan love in terms of like stats is probably really good besides the interceptions obviously but like jordan loves a good quarterback when he is doesn't he turn the, the ball over interceptions what's he at uh, he's at 10 um nobody on my list has more yeah but that well, he, he's, the most, he's the most in the top 10 for sure for sure next to patrick mahomes which is kind of kind of wild i oh my god i tweaked so hard what? i tweaked so hard mahomes isn't mahomes. in my list I tweaked. hey let's go no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> mahomes is mahomes is getting into no, my that's life that's not a tweak that's good man no 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 no, no, no. sam no. darnold is keep no longer keep him up, keep him up, he's keep not him up. no i tweaked so hard <laughs> you put him mahomes at 10 dude. no no sam darnold's getting kicked out of the list like he's 11 now i tweaked so hard that's all me for sure um all right so what do you got at number seven and number seven that's why i have jalen hurts i got matthew stafford that's another guy I left I off the list. Stafford. And see, that's I, I, really talking, like I was talking Stafford, to you man. earlier. I was like, are we just talking about this season or are we going into like like merit? Like because yeah, yeah, yeah. like obviously, like talent uh, wise, Matthew Stafford's top ten. Like he is a great passer of the football. Oh, yeah. But he like throws that his stats I looked at were like really just like really mm -hmm. mid. Like yeah. well, it's because I mean, I mean, it's like it's two main guys have been out exactly. forever. So and like I can't I can't knock him on that, yeah. but it's just like I can't like I think now with what he has, he's going to be like way better, but I, I can't leave him out of the top 10. And I'm also, I'm just, 
really high on Matthew Stafford. I always have been. Because mm-hmm. he's a Lions guy, and I think, my dad's right. a Lions fan. So, yeah. I put Mahomes in at, at where I think I would put him okay. on this list. Good, good. He hasn't come up yet. He wouldn't be in my mind yet. So you had who at number seven? Jalen Hurts. Hurts. Yeah. Who's your seven? Stafford. Stafford. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, six, I have CJ Stroud. Oh, he's on my list. I, uh-uh. I can't. I, I can't. His do passing that. stats aren't that bad, to be fair. They're not bad, but I, I don't. I like I test, bro. Like I don't know. I've watched no, that's of his fair. games, and every single game I've watched, he does not pass the eye test. That's fair. Good. Straight up, doesn't the look good. The eye test, he is not. So, he is can't. not that good. But I'm once again. This is. I think C.J. Stroud is my Matthew Stafford in your scenario. Matthew Stafford yeah. isn't having a good season, but I've seen what C.J. Stroud has did but last Matthew year. Matthew Stafford's the well. I've only. In He's defense, done it I've only watched watched the last like two games with N- Puka Nakua. And Cooper cut back. Yeah. And... Uh, he's looked really Obviously, impressive. he's going to look really good when he those has those Those last two games, two. so... No, yeah, for sure. I completely... Like I said, like, Matthew Stafford, like... I wouldn't put him on this list yet, but in a few weeks, when we see yeah. his stats probably be way better, I would put him on this list. Mm-hmm. But as of right now... I'm going to keep him on. No. But, uh... So, I got Jared Goff at number six. Jared Goff's the goofball. Little, he's a little higher I, for I me. can't put him higher just because, like, the top five are just, like... They're just straight up the best talents in the league. Like, they're just... It's it's not a debate, and I I I think Jared Goff is really good. He has really good stats. He's on the he's he's playing for the best team right now. Mm-hmm. But he he's not he's not a top five talent. So I can't I can't do it. Like, I he's can, not. I can he, definitely he see where you're coming 10, from, dude. Like talent wise, just no. Like Jared Goff? no, he's not. He never like, he, has he, been. It's a it's a it's a Brock Purdy. Be. It's a Brock Purdy. Case. Exactly. It's a Brock yeah. Purdy in a even better situation exactly. somehow. And I do think that Jared Goff is a better quarterback than Brock Purdy because oh, of yeah. the more years he's had in yeah, the yeah. NFL. But I have I Goff higher than that, though. I, I can't put him higher just because the top five are so. Uh, just, yeah, the well, I tweaked on Mahomes. I didn't have they're Mahomes in. I didn't have Mahomes in here at first, but so after CJ Stroud at so this would be what my what are we at right now? Six. <laughs> yep. At my six is where I have Mahomes. That's oh man, where, that's where I put Mahomes just because of how bad he's been this season. Yeah. Like I'm doing most of this list based on this season. Mm-hmm. I want that to be clear. This list is mainly like ninety percent. I would say this season. Mahomes has not been a top five quarterback this season alone until last game. He looked good, but I still think I'm going to have him at six just because the top five guys I have are just playing better than him currently. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason Mahomes, in my opinion, talent wise, still won. I want that to be known. Yeah, I would like to leave him out of my top four, but I can't do can't do that. No. Yeah. If I, I thought about little, it more, he's just a little Mahomey. Yeah. If I thought about it more, I probably would have Mahomes higher, but I don't want to think about it more. I don't want to think yeah. about Patrick Mahomes. I don't like thinking about Patrick. <laughs> no Mahomes. one does, dude. What's up for my buddy, bro? Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> shout out Adrian Arrakis, dude, for uh, being the biggest Chiefs bandwagon ever. Uh, I hate you with that passion, sucks. buddy. You want to know who else is a, is a big Chiefs bandwagon? Who? Joe Schmo. Well, Joe Schmo's from uh, well, yeah, Missouri, but, like, but he doesn't know anything about football. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He like, talks about the Chiefs. Like, yeah, whenever we watch the Chiefs is the only time he, he, like, ever cares about football. That's what I'm saying. But, like, yeah. he doesn't, outside of, like, when we're watching the Chiefs, if he's in his room and he sees the Chiefs on, he wouldn't care. <laughs> Do you think he can name more than uh, three players? I don't know. The I'll ask him when I see him. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> um, anyways. Uh, number five. This is where I have Joe Burrow. Dude, I have Joe Burrow so much higher. I know you do. Um, I got Jane Daniels at number five. I, yeah. My thing with Joe Burrow, it's it's just the winning. Joe Burrow, like oh, talent-wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll keep giving it to you. Yeah. Joe Burrow, talent-wise, still probably top three, maybe five. It just depends on how much you value Lamar's rushing. Like, But Joe Burrow this season, just because they're losing, and it's not his fault, mm-hmm. but it's like they're losing games I can't give yeah, it to yeah. him. No, it, it's valid for sure. He has the best stats probably on this list besides Lamar and Josh Allen, though. Like in terms his, of his, his stats wise, he's better three. than uh, Allen, I think. Well, uh, maybe a, not a little bit. Maybe not Dan. I don't know. The, it's the it's the rushing, really. Yeah. No, he's not. He's not better than Josh Allen just stats wise alone. If you add in the rushing. Oh okay, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I have the rushing on this as well. Passing, passing, he's passing for sure. It, it's not a question. Well, I think he's, he's he might just be like the most talented passer, well, except for like Mahomes in the league, maybe. No, yeah, I'll give you that for sure. So. Like Joe Burrow, just in terms of throwing a football, is very, very good. Very, very good. good at throwing that thing. I also, um, but yeah, Jaden Daniels at number five. I, I want to put him higher, but mm-hmm. he only has nine touchdowns this season, which I was kind of a little, little, little shocked at. No, yeah, that's, but that's I really crazy. like what he can do with his legs. So I want to, I, w- I would like to put him higher, but I'm gonna keep him at number five also because he's a rookie. But I uh, very high Jaden Daniels. I'm, I'm sure over. People, I'm over. Have like him higher. Uh, yeah, like, which I think it's fine. That's the thing. It's like he could be two or three. Like in up. my with my top six, including Mahomes, like I could really see, except for number one and two, 
I could see this list being any like yeah. Well, actually, just one. Like you could argue, yeah, you can argue anybody except for one for me. Like exactly, one, one is just it's, far, yeah, right? it's yeah, exactly. Who's number four? Uh, my four is where I have Jared Goff at. Okay, it's yeah, all, yeah. it's like like it's just because one he's, he's winning, winning all these games and his stats like aren't as bad like in terms of yards as I thought they would be. He's a uh, yeah, he's com- he still he's has eighteen forty. Yeah, he still has like eighteen forty passing yards, fourteen touchdowns, four picks, throwing the ball seventy five percent completion percentage, mm-hmm. like. That's yeah, so dude. good, but it's just like, oh, it really hurt me to put him this high. Because talent-wise, he's not even on this list for me. Mm-hmm. But it's just like they're winning games, and I got to stick to that. I can't put Joe Burrow at five because he's not winning games and not have yeah. Goff above him because Especially he is winning you games. you stand on business. Exactly. I'm, like, a little bit, I'm a little bit everywhere. Except for <laughs> Mahomes, actually. I guess I didn't do it with Mahomes, but it's because I kind of forgot him. Like, yeah. he, he, If I were to go back at this point, like I'm thinking about it more, Mahomes, Mahomes would be above these guys. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I, so I, got Mahomes, I got Mahomes at four. Oh, yeah, that's your four. I, yeah. I can't put, put him over my top three. Uh, usually I could, but I, I just can't with how he's playing this season. Exactly. This season's just been yeah. really rough. Like, I think by the end of this season, <laughs> Mahomes will be back. Like, I know we've been saying that the whole time, but I still think Mahomes by the end of the season will look like Mahomes again. Like, a full Mahomes looking oh, yeah. almost Come perfect. Come playoffs, it'll be fine. Yeah. Um, they always turn up. Want us to name our top three? Yeah, go ahead. So I got three, Josh Allen, two, Joe Burrow, one, Lamar Jackson. Yeah, that's why I said the top one, because I can see the argument for Joe Burrow over Josh Allen, but I just actually really can't. Like, No, I, just just because of like the weapons, and I think Joe Burrow throws a better ball. I know Josh Allen's calmed down on the interceptions. Joe Burrow threw a really bad pick six, by the way. Oh, I didn't uh, see it. Oh, it was bad. It was like a, it was like a screen pass. Raiders guy like was just like chilling Standing there. there. Well, no, nah, he, was, he was running, it, but like... I don't know. If I were him, I would have saw. I would have saw the. Well, someone also forgot to block that player. Mm. But that's I, a bad I, move. It, it wasn't a good throw. It was a bad throw. It was a really bad. But I mean, quarterbacks but, have that. Like every quarterback's gonna have a bad, bad throw bad. sometimes. But like I, I think Joe Burrow's a much better passing talent than Josh Allen. So I, I I'm can agree Joe with Burrow, that. And I think the weapons are better around him. He's he's put in a better position to succeed. But that's the teams the, aren't winning games. Like, in my opinion, games. in my opinion, that's why I I would have Josh Allen above Joe Burrow. Like why? I think that same thing. Like that he has less uh, talent around him and is still having arguably better stats. But winning yeah. more games as well. Like their defense is like they're not equal, but like Cincinnati's oh, defense is is really bad. <laughs> yeah, but like the Bills' defense is maybe average. Like yeah, the Bills' defense is not very good. But like not honestly, I could completely see Burrow over Allen. I just I can't do it just because like Josh Allen. If you add up his rushing stats with his passing stats, he mm-hmm. has actually. If you add Burrow's, he's like he's like fifty yards less with the same amount of touchdowns and less picks. So, yeah. like, honestly, that's what I'm saying. Like, you could have them either way. Like, it's just but, I have Allen above them because of the winning. Yeah, They're also it, winning. No, more. it's valid, too. But I can't – I don't know. I always feel bad talking about Joe Burrow and, like, his losing because it's never his fault. Like, Joe yeah, Burrow well, losing – like, crazy games. Like, he had, yeah. like, five touchdowns or four touchdowns against the Ravens still lost. Exactly. Like, it's, like, it's just tough because, like, his team is low-key selling him. But it's, like, since you're not winning games, I can't put you higher. Yeah, like, it's tough. Do you think they tough. go to the playoffs? It, it, they're going to no. be, be so close. No. They're they're four and five. Oh, I th- I thought they were three no, and six. No, they're four and five. Four and five. They uh, have they they played the it, Ravens it, once. It, They'll lose to the Ravens again probably. Like if they if they beat the Steelers twice, which is going to be really tough to do. Ah, uh, they can do it. But I uh, the thing is, is how like, would they get in? If they could go in as like a third seed, like maybe like three teams from like the AFC North could all go. Or that's like that. that's the way they get in. That's like the it's, only way. If, if how would three that teams. Work? Uh, the Browns lose all their games, and then like every other division, it, like there there would be a lot of things that would have to go right. But it like, could go it right. Could. I'm not gonna lie. The other, NFC North could have the same thing happen. AFC South sucks. Like yeah. Oh, uh, nobody in the AFC South is gonna take a wild AFC card West spot. will probably start doing worse, except for the Chiefs and the Chargers. And the AFC East sucks, except for the Bills. So it's like oh yeah, no. So they just almost like they have to outplay maybe. the Chargers. Like they have to they have to play better than the Chargers, and they'll be in. That's what they have to do. Yeah, it's going to be. And they could do that. It'll like, be tough. For sure, It'll be very could. tough for them. So my my top three, I have Jaden Daniels at three, Josh mm-hmm. Allen two, Lamar one. Lamar's obviously one. We don't have to talk about Lamar. He's the best quarterback in the so league good. right now. I said it week four. I knew it was going to happen because it's just obvious. When you have, when you can show that you actually can throw the ball like Lamar Jackson has done, and he's yeah. still running as well as he ever has, he has, besides Jaden Daniels, <laughs> He's like 300 yards, like 200, 300 yards ahead of like any other quarterback on my list in rushing yards. Like, yeah. No, oh, it's, he is the best, like he's the best rushing quarterback ever to play the game. And it's, Except yeah. for, I mean. No, no, no. Yeah, it no, Michael Vick's is number two, but. Yeah. 
Oh, well, Lamar I, Jackson, he's a bit of a better person. I'd I'm going to I'm going to put say. this right now. Jaden Daniels is it. I really want to say Jaden Daniels could end up being a better rushing quarterback than Lamar. I, I got him my Madden franchise too last night. Jaden Daniels? Yeah. Oh, so your backfield's Jaden Daniels and Bijan? Yeah, that's dude, so it's, tough. It's tough. And I got Tyreek Hill. Oh, that's bro. tough. I had nine touchdowns in one game. That's so Tyreek tough. Hill. Oh, all right. So, yeah, there's just no one is going to, like, yeah, no one's going to be you better than Lamar this year. You can't argue against Lamar. I don't think anyone will be, honestly. No. With the season he's having with Derrick Henry back there, like, that's the thing Derrick is, Henry also just makes him so much better. And that's what I was going to say. you got to watch out for that, bro. Their like, offense is so unbelievably good that, like, I don't see a way that – it's not yeah. even that somebody – Stars did well, too. Oh, very Last good. Last game, he did very well. I don't see a scenario where, like, a quarterback – I don't think a quarterback could play better than Lamar in this, like just with Lamar scenario. Yeah. No. Unless Derrick Henry gets hurt, like I just don't see a scenario where any quarterback could do close to what Lamar is doing because a defense has to be so ready for Derrick Henry. Because a defense has to be so ready for Lamar to run the ball, the passing has got to be so open. Mm-hmm. And that's why Lamar has 2,379 passing yards, 20 touchdowns, mm-hmm. two interceptions. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. yeah. It's and he, so he's making impossible better to throws. Stop this. I th- I don't think he was like great, incredible at the start of the season with the throws he was making, but uh, he's kind of improved more. Mm-hmm. So I yeah, he's just he's just so good, man. All right, shout out Lamar. On to a segment that is familiar: our studs and bums of the week. Bum of the week. Start us off, Gavin. You want? Oh no, no, no! I think we should start on stud of the week. Because my week? my bum of the week, it's it's when it's coming. Oh, okay. So let's start I, on the I stud. Got, of the I got week. I got Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams, the retirement home of the I New like York that. Jets. I like that. I, I I just like that they finally kind of showed up. Honestly, you could have put what, the whole Jets offense because Garrett Wilson had a really good game too. That, that catch. Woo. Oh my but gosh. I don't. Oh, I think I like. That, I, I know though. that, but I really like Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams because it's more of like a statement game for them. No, yeah, because people agree. are like, okay, like what's going to happen? Like, and also everybody was saying they were washed. I was saying that. I, I was. Saying I, that. I did too. I, I'm, I'm on record, bro. <laughs> I like, think I am both too. of us are. Yeah, and I I still think maybe this is a fluke, but. I, I don't know if uh, this gives the New York Jets hopes. It's kind of scary. The thing is, NFL they did it against a good team, too. Mm-hmm. The Texans mm-hmm. have a good defense. Like, it wasn't like they did it's it against a great the win. Patriots, it's great the win Titans. Jets. Like, yeah, well, they lost the Patriots. Though. That's okay. Yeah, that, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Which is like my stud of know. the week. Here's this pick and choose. Is going to be JSN, Jackson Smith and Jigba. Seven receptions, 180 yards, two touchdowns. Dang. He had a really elite game. That's a good amount of yards right yeah. there. Yeah. Holy On moly. seven receptions, he had 180 yards. That's crazy, dude. That's like a Randy Moss type set. Literally. That's like, insane. Yeah. That's what I was saying. All right. Who's your bum of the week? Uh, The coin that was flipped for the Chiefs versus Bucks game. <laughs> 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 I don't think that's crazy. Not a crazy thing. Not crazy, dude. Did you see Baker's reaction? Yes, went, bro, dude, that like, was so dude. funny. I was, I was the same way, bro. Because, no, realistically, like, think about if one of that coins went Baker way. Like, that's a touchdown. I think, uh, yeah. I'm the like, Chiefs go down. Also, like, think about what that did for me, man. You know, I'm a, you know, legendary Chiefs hater. <laughs> like, True. you know, and that just, that just told me that the game was over. What no, if, yeah. No, I knew the game was over, uh, like, when the ridiculous. when the coin flip happened. Like, there was no way that the, the Bucks were going to stop the Chiefs in overtime. The Chiefs are so tough in overtime. Yeah, they're, like, they're impossible to stop. The refs definitely rigged it, is what I'm saying. They probably... <laughs> What did, what did he call it? He called heads or tails, I don't remember. Uh, he called heads. So, yeah. They and it was tails, two, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so they probably had two tails. Two tails on the coin. Probably. Two tails on the coin. They probably didn't they show Baker. Yeah. No, they probably had two coins behind them, and it took the one that had the two tails, and there was one that had two heads. All right. Mm-hmm. My bum of the week. The Colts organization ah, for benching Anthony Richardson man, after no, 251 no, 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 career no. dropbacks. Caleb no, Williams. No, no, no. Okay, you ready? It's valid, bro. I, I, I know you're, you're going to go on a whole rant about it. I'm not going to go on a whole rant. It's going to be a quick rant about why the Colts messed up this. Okay. okay. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear it. So, Anthony Richardson in his two-year career has less dropbacks than Bo Nix or Caleb Williams. Mm-hmm. Already, they both have more dropbacks. Anthony Richardson does not have a huge sample size. In that, Anthony Richardson, or sorry, let's start with Caleb Williams stats in nine career games. Yeah. 61% completion percentage. 1,665 passing yards, nine touchdowns, five interceptions, 221 yards rushing, Mm -hmm. no touchdowns on the ground. Anthony Richardson in one more game has 10 10 completion percentage less, 100 yards less, one less touchdown, three more picks, and 150 more yards rushing with five more rushing touchdowns. Yeah. So their stats end up being, if you add in the rushing stats, Caleb Williams has maybe 50 more pa- or total yards than Anthony Richardson and two less touchdowns or three less touchdowns, three less picks. Mm-hmm. 
Do you think Caleb Williams should be benched right now? Uh, well, the Bears are winning games. Well, there's also there's also the, the reason he got benched was isn't because of his his performance. Because of what he said. That's the reason, man. Okay, but Joe Flacco's going to start this week as well. I mean, I think it's it, valid, dude. You don't say that. You're not. You can't be a starting quarter. That no, you're see, tired. Okay. No, you can't say that. Bench no. him for a game. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Maybe he should be bench him for a this quarter. Week. Actually, like, no, no, a whole no. game. No, he took himself out of it's one valid. play. You're the starting quarterback. Think what that says to your fans. Think what that says to the city. Think what that says to the organization, yes, dude. But they're Anthony putting their Richardson, faith in you, bro. people are saying that Anthony Richardson is have has had a bad career so far, which just is not true unless you're going to say that Caleb Williams also has. I don't want to see any the Anthony difference is, Richardson. The difference slander. is the winning. The difference is the winning. I didn't get the, the, I didn't get the, the wins up. I, I can pull the wins up right now. Yeah. We can see the record of them real quick. Well, I mean, it's just Caleb Williams has one more games. Yeah, but it's not going to be by that many. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. It's uh, like... No, yes, no, fine, no, no, fine, no, no, fine, no, 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 no. Anthony fine, Richardson fine, fine. last year, like, for sure won most of his games before he got hurt. He looked he looked a lot better last year than he did this I year. I completely agree. But also, they're not giving him a chance. Mm -hmm. Well, dude, I mean, at the end of the day, you can't say what he said. No, I completely agree with that. He you should not have said he, he was tired. I think he should for a game or two. I think he should have been benched for a quarter, maybe a half. Dude, no. Because here's the thing as well. You took him at three as a project quarterback mm -hmm. and gave him 10 games. Yeah. Not even a whole season. You don't take a project quarterback at three and bench him Here's the thing. Do you think they're going to make the playoffs with Joe Flacco? No. Do you think they're going to make the playoffs with Anthony Richardson? No. So why would you put in the 38-year-old quarterback to play this year? I think it's if, more no, of a no, 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 experience no. for Anthony Richardson. If they're not going to win games this year, why not fully see what you have with Anthony Richardson this rest of this season? And if he's bad, bench him all of it's next year. It's because of what that BS that he said. No, there's no reason. They're screwing themselves by doing this. There's no – they're, they're – He's got to be – no, he's got to Their team is not learn. better. Joe Flacco didn't put up an offensive touchdown in that game. No, he was bad. He's so bad. So there's no so reason bad. for him to get benched. It's no, it's because of what he said. I, I felt like a broken record, but like you can't do that. Yeah, you can't so be bench him for a quarter, bench him for a half. You can't bench him for two straight games yeah. when it's screwing your whole future. It's not It's not screwing you for a game for a season. It's screwing your future right now. You spent the third overall pick on him last year. Mm -hmm. You can't bench him after 10 games, after 100 less dropbacks than Bo Nix or Caleb Williams has gotten in their career, and they have played for a season last. Yeah, but Gavin, he's, he's not being best for the performance. That's not what they're saying. It's because of what he did. Like That's not true, though. That's they, definitely what it is. No, they, they came out and said that Joe Flacco gives them the best chance of winning, which is why they're putting him in. They did That's not definitely say it's just because a cover-up, dude. No, they, okay. Imagine if you're the coach and your starting player said that. Then you say he can't say that. Yeah, you can't say that you bench him. Teach him a lesson. That's ridiculous. That's what you tell them. That's ridiculous. Dude, I want to tell the I want to tell the press that people no players get benched all the time and people tell the press it's usually just for a quarter though it's a disciplinary nah. one drive thing actually, I think it's not I, I think okay I do think the court organization is horrible but I think his benching was deserving do you do you think that I they think his benching was deserved deserved okay do you think it was a good idea though do you think it's better yeah. for their oh, organization because yeah. yeah. also 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 I don't think they're gonna like win many games so I, I don't think like one game for Anthony Richardson matters that much. It's not one. It's going to be two. It could be three. We don't know. Yeah. They said we'll Joe Flacco is their quarterback if, indefinitely. That that might be a little ridiculous. If Why would you but start the 38-year-old quarterback I, I think, for a think, team that's not going to win? I think, okay, I think one or two games, okay. Three games, uh, that's, that's, I don't like that. I don't I like think, that. I think, I think if, uh, if it I was, was one me, or two, one game would have been the most. I would have benched him for a half. Against the Vikings as well? Like, no, nah, I definitely, definitely benched him for like a whole game or two games. But, but. I, I no, actually, no. Two might be actually a little bit ridiculous. I don't know. I think he should just be benched though for that. The thing is, I but can also, agree. Like, I can agree. It would be I, nice if we could have him like if they could have him learn. But the thing is, he's learning behind Joe Flacco. He's not exactly a great quarterback. Like, okay, he's he's it's, old. He's washed. It's not even that. It's, have, they're not the same play style either. Yeah, like exactly. Joe Flacco can only teach him to read a defense. That's about exactly. the only thing he could teach him. Yeah, which is fine. Like that's what they did with um. Like Bryce Young, put Andy Dalton, put a, put a vet in, like learn a little bit. But, but like, I mean, last Andy year, not that last year when Andy he Dalton. was hurt, he could have been learning this stuff too. Yeah. That's the thing is like, they've already given him this time. They gave him a whole year last year while he was hurt to learn. Yeah. And but, so I think well, he needs more. I think a half was, was the most they should have done for him. Yeah. I think that the Colts. What do you think the answer with Anthony Richardson is going to be? Cause he's, I mean, he's, I think he's not great. I think he's all right. He's I not think great. they let him play the rest of this season out. And if he's bad, they just straight up bench him and sign a quarterback in free agency. That's what they should have done. Like th this one game, sure. If Joe Flacco plays any more than last game, <clears> the <throat> Colts organization is the worst 
in the in the league. They, well, they've the had a lot of issues at that quarterback position without um, Andrew Luck, right? Mm-hmm. Ever since Andrew Luck, that him, whole had, team. Like, Gardner Minshew was playing. Carson Phillip Wentz Rivers. was playing. Philip Rivers was playing. Matt Ryan. <laughs> yeah, they just have the, – that's a retire. We want to talk about a retirement <laughs> home. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, man. But, I just think they should let Anthony Richardson play this season out. And if he is truly as bad as – here's the thing. They know more than we do about Anthony Richardson. They see him in practice every day. Uh, Anthony no Richardson, way they know more than you, man. No Anthony way. Richardson <laughs> might not be a good quarterback. That that could, could totally be true. I don't think he's great. But why not try it out in a season where you know you're losing? Yeah. You know you're losing this year. You're not going to be able to win the division with Joe Flacco. Mm-hmm. You saw what they did, what he did against the uh, – granted, the Vikings is a really elite defense – Joe Flacco's not an elite quarterback anymore. Yeah. He had an he had he an had, insanity run last hasn't been. year. Like with the Browns. We saw how when he got to the playoffs with the Browns. Like he's not he's yeah. not that guy. So why he's not, that not guy. give Anthony Richardson a chance to get game time reps and just give him the chance? And if he isn't good, fine. You can bench him for the rest of his career. Yeah. But like you took a project quarterback and only give him 10 games before well, you bench him. In their defense, they were like four and four. Before this game, so maybe they're thinking, okay, like Anthony. I mean, he looked. That's bad. fair. He said what he said. Like, let me toss in Joe Flacco, who, I mean, in his defense, he had a Lynn Stanley run last season. Let me see if he can do that again. So, I, I, that is, the, I will give you that. That is fair. They we'll were see. four and four. I didn't realize that, but because the, they could have gone there, they could have five and four. That's a good spot. Way better than four and I five. I just Way there was no. Five. I didn't give them before the game. I didn't give them a chance to beat the Vikings. Because yeah. Joe Flacco oh, yeah, at quarterback, I don't, I don't give. Many I am teams way a scared. To the if, if you're playing, if the Bears play the Colts, who would you rather have at quarterback? In your opinion, Joe Flacco or Anthony Richardson? In your opinion, like no bias. Like um, who would you rather oh, see against anybody? I'd rather have Anthony Richardson playing. Yeah, like it, so. Do, no, I'm talking not as the Colts organization, as the other team. Who do you want to see as their quarterback? You want to see Anthony Richardson, or do you want to see Joe Flacco back there? Like if you're playing against. Oh, him. I'm the Bears. Yes, you're the Bears in this scenario. Oh. I don't know. That's close. I think I'd rather very, they're, see they're Joe different. Flacco. They're different, but they're both like bad. Anthony Richardson realistically could have a hundred yard rushing game against the Vikings because we blitzed so much. I'm so yeah. happy that they played Flacco. Yeah. Anthony Richardson was a better, like I would rather see Flacco back there if I'm the other team than Anthony Richardson. Cause Anthony Richardson can make plays. He has that arm to make a deep throw for 80 yards. Granted, he's not a great quarterback. He made right that now. one throw. Yeah. At the like, start of the season, everyone freaked out. The thing is, is Anthony Richardson, he can run well, and he has a huge arm. That's mm-hmm. what he's got. Terrible accuracy, terrible decision-making. That's where mm-hmm. he's at right now. Mm-hmm. So I would rather see Joe Flacco back there who can't move, can't throw the ball down the field. He's a worse quarterback than Anthony Richardson right now, in my opinion. Joe Flacco? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. There's no reason to start him, though, I think it's opinion. valid. Yeah. Well, there was. Because <sighs> Yeah. What he said was, was I, I think, unacceptable. I think, I think if, for sure. if, he, if he plays that whole entire game, He's he's starting. He started this week, hundred percent. See, I. You think? I don't know, dude. Pull yourself out in the middle of a game because and they that said it crazy, wasn't because man. of that. That's the thing. People, the owners are like dude, the GMs nah, are bro, when it it's something. Because here's the thing: he said. the the whole NFL fan base said it was unacceptable. Yeah. So why would the GM not just agree with the whole fan base? Because they're idiots. Cult organization. That's fair. You know what? Well, that's you why said, I have them at the bottom of the, the week. Bum of the week. They're they are terrible. Yeah. That's let's, you know what? Let's get to our let's predictions. Get move on to our game predictions. Yeah. So last week, Sean, you had a really good prediction week last that's what week. I do. It's Nine what I do. and six is the best week you've had, I'm pretty sure. That's what I do, man. What did you do? Twelve and three. Damn. Yeah. So it was a good week for both of us. Yeah. We both had a really good week. Um, we both missed on the Patriots versus Titans because mm-hmm. who would have expected them to win? You got the Bills right versus the Dolphins. I thought the Dolphins were going to win that one. That was close, bro. It was a really good game. I am. I the Dolphins ooh. are going to be a sneaky team for everybody. Earlier, I, I, oh, dude, the Bengals and Ravens played yes, tomorrow at seven fifteen. That's yes, so sick. Yes, oh, dude. Man, I was going to say that. So yeah, first game of the week, Thursday night football, Bengals Ravens. Ooh, no, give me the Ravens. I have to call the women's game tomorrow at seven. Oh, oh, and you God. you like you could have it on with no noise, but like you can't even I listen to it. I don't know if it. I can even. Well, I gotta pay attention to the you game. Do. I gotta be locked in. That's true. That's so. Sorry, tough. women's volleyball. I might not be. <laughs> I might have to skip. Sorry, Pete. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding, Pete. If just, you hear this, just kidding, Pete. Hey, <laughs> we're kidding. joking. Love you, Pete. I'll be there. Love you, Pete. I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> Bengals right, Ravens. Right. I took the Ravens. Ah, it's hard to bet against them. Yeah, give me the Ravens. Yeah, it's just hard to bet against the Ravens with how I think. Who if the Ravens and Lions. Who do you think wins? Um, 
Probably the Lions, just because I think their offense is a little bit. I don't, I don't think I could say the Lions' offense. I, mean, I think they're I don't equal. Think, I don't think anyone. If if the Vikings couldn't stop the Lions, I don't think the Ravens could stop the Lions. That's fair, but I don't think the Lions could stop the Ravens either. I think that they might have, be one they, of the most fun shot. game. I agree. I think that might be one of the most fun games yeah, I would like Super Bowl, ever watch. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ever, ever, like best offensive game ever. Well. Except for the, the you last the, time the Bengals Ravens played against you, remember that Rams that Rams Chiefs game when the goofball was on the Rams? That was like 53 52. Jared, Jared goof on the Rams was legendary, bro. That was crazy. He had and then he went he to the, the best Super quarterback Bowl in the sucked. NFL. <laughs> <laughs> that Super Bowl was terrible. Pat's Not a good Rams. Show up for the Rams. Not a good oh show up for my the Rams. gosh. All right, All let's right. get to the Giants. Oh, wait, who yeah, do you have next? Giants, Giants Panthers. Panthers. What a good game. Uh, uh, hey, probably a lot of people will be watching this game. I'm sure, taking right? the Panthers and Bryce Young. Yeah, I'm taking the Panthers. Too. Let's go. Come on. Wait, actually, nah. Take the Giants. That's cool. You mean the Giants? And don't stop playing. I'm mad at the organization. <laughs> How dare you bench Andy? Hey, How dare you? He got a win. Bryce Young got a win. I know. He was Andy smiling. Dalton would probably gotten like ten by now. True. Pats Bears. I mean Bears. Yeah, I'm there as well. I mean, unfortunately, always take the Bears. Four Niners Bucks. Uh, Bucks. CMC. I'm taking he's the 49ers. Back? He, uh, there. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be back this week. It's not a guarantee, and he's probably on a snap count if he isn't. But I'm, I'm still thinking he's gonna cook up. Here are the Bucks. I, I, yeah, it's not a bad, not a bad take. Uh, Bills Colts. Uh, Bills. Yeah. I don't know why I asked. Yeah. That was a bad, bad question. Broncos Chiefs. Uh, so I'm gonna go against the Chiefs every week. So definitely the Broncos. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go against the Chiefs here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Divisional game. I, I did say that the Who Broncos knows? were one of the teams that could take down the Chiefs. Yeah, I but hope so, dude. Chiefs. Uh, Falcons Saints. I'm never picking the Saints in my life ever again. <laughs> they lost dude. to the Panthers. The, the Falcons are the team. Bowl? The, the Yo, Cottonelle doo-doo bowl. We had the co- This is the Cottonelle doo-doo bowl. Oh. And what Michael Thomas was saying, bro. Oh, man. The Saints organization also could have been oh. bum of the week for me. Oh, my God. But nah, they were so nah, funny. They were so funny, dude. That might have been like the greatest like football Twitter like week ever, bro. That I was just, incredible. It just probably was. Oh my it was God. so good. The All right. Dutable is the funniest quote I've heard. This in my is life. this is gonna be a good game as well. Steelers Commanders. Uh you mean the Commanders? You know what? I'm gonna go with the upset here. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Steelers. You know my dad's favorite team is the Steelers. Maybe really? that's why I hate the Steelers. I'm gonna oh, take I the love st- my dad. Shout out my dad if you watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Vikings Jags. Um taking the Vikings. No Christian Kirk. Uh, to the Jags for the rest like, of the season. The Jags almost beat the Eagles though. That's true. If Devontae Smith didn't go like Superman mode, it probably would have. That's true. Uh, ooh, is this a trap game for the Vikings? Another one. <sighs> Take them. Give me the Jags. I like it. Man, Titans I Chargers. Have such a bad record again. <laughs> Give me the Chargers. Yeah. Is Will Levis hmm. still playing? How's that going? It's been Mason Rudolph. Okay. Yeah. Mason, Will Levis has been hurt though. It hasn't been. Mason like... Rudolph like a dent in his head from that from that one time. <laughs> that one time that Miles one time. Garrett did a goofy. I'm taking the Titans yeah, low key. We gotta, I don't know why. Shout out Miles Garrett. No, not not no 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 not shout out Miles Garrett. But... Uh shout out Miles Garrett for being a good football player, but that move probably wasn't the best. Yeah, I probably should have like life. How long did he get suspended time. for? I feel like it was only like four games. Probably should have gotten life in prison. He probably should that's have gotten like, a felony charge. That's assault. Like that's 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 attempted murder. That's just true. To the dome with a football helmet? Are you kidding that's me? That's just definitely true. All right. Uh, Eagles, Cowboys. I mean, the Eagles. Yep. Me as well. <laughs> that's not not a very tough one. Yep. Yeah. Jets, Cardinals. See, that, 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 I think this is a tough one. Uh, this is a tough one. Uh, Give me the retirement home. I'm going to take the Cardinals here. Okay, valid. You're taking the Jets. I, I like Kyler Murray a lot. No, and yeah, Marvin yeah, yeah. Harrison a lot. This is it, this is also low-key going to be a good game. Give, give the Cardinals like a few years. Or maybe maybe two years. Yeah. Give them a few more. Give them, that Trey McBride's young. Uh, oh, Marvin he's, Harrison's he's good, young. Man. Kyler Murray's still like on the on the good end of 30. He's like he's like 28, I think, 27. Oh, he's got to be young on that. Really? Kyler Murray? I think Kyler Murray's like 27. Maybe. I think he might be younger. You could oh, be right. he is 27. You're, you're exactly Dang. correct. Dang. Dang. We're uh, old. Yeah, no. I Lions, Texans. I'm taking the Lions. Lions I don't know why I said it like it was going to be a good Dolphins, game. Dolphins, Rams, we really fired it. It might be a good game, but like I'm just taking the Lions for sure because it's the Lions. Yeah. Dolphins, Rams. That's going to be good. Ooh. That's going to be good. But I, I love Matthew Stafford, but I did take Tyreek Hill at number one. Who are you taking, man? Um, that's going to be a tough one. I'm going to take – ah, this is, a, this is a tough one. I'm going to take – I took the Dolphins last week and they failed me. I'm going the Rams. Yeah, I'm gonna go Rams too. I'm taking the Dolphins though. Okay, bet. <laughs> nah, dude, you just a hater. 
What's wrong with you? How dare you? All right. Yeah, that's the end of the game slate. All right. You got anything else? I think I'm good. All right. So that just about wraps up this week. This has been Unbiased Sports with Gavin and Sean, where you can find intelligent and unbiased takes on the NFL. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you guys next week. Love you guys. Thank you very much for listening to this WXAV 88.3 FM podcast. Be sure to visit our website, WXAV.com, for more information on your escape from Ordinary Radio.